Skateboarding. It seems like there isn't a law of physics that doesn't apply to this sport. For the skateboarder, having knowledge of these laws can actually help him improve and develop much quicker than he normally would. In this segment, we'll go over the various forces which, when combined, allow the board and the rider to jump off the ground in what the kids these days call an ollie. Even before the trick is performed, multiple forces are already acting upon the skater and his board. The weight of the skater, the force of gravity on the board itself, and the force of the ground pushing up on the board. Now, starting with the lower center mass, crouching down, is like pushing down a spring. This gives the body more distance over which to accelerate before the skater's feet ever leave the ground. The height of an ollie jump comes from this upward acceleration of the body. The greater the acceleration, the higher the jump. As the skater's body moves upward and launch, he stomps down hard on the skateboard's tail with his rear foot. The great force on the tail causes the front of the skateboard to rear up like a rising airplane. When the skater pushes down on the tail, it pushes back with an equal and opposite force. The tail then bounces back up, leaving the ground. Now the skateboard is fully in the air and at a steep angle. If left alone at this point, the board would continue rotating and flip backwards. But the airborne skater uses his feet to drag the nose of the board upward with his rising leap. This dragging is aided by the extra friction on the sandpaper grip tape on the skateboard's top surface. He then levels the board out, attaining maximum height and stays in that position until he and the board come back down. And there you have it, the ollie.